Your motion graphics are only as powerful as your style, a style that should make your work unforgettable. So let's conquer After Effects and integrate a handful of the best used motion styles today. Let's jump in. All right, let's jump into a new and exciting motion style labeled Minimal Geometry. This style is about using thin line shapes to highlight simple information like text. For starters, by using the shape tools, you can add in a series of unique boxes, lines, and other shapes with only stroke enabled to create something cool. With that said, you may want to add the trim path property and keyframe the start to animate all your lines in. Now, you can add some extra detail with the star tool, and by messing with the Polystar path settings, you can easily create a whole host of unique graphics. And if you're working with text, I suggest trying the font Satoshi. And you're also welcome to add in pops of color to your background with the ellipse tool, kind of like a, a tie-dye shirt, which I just want to be caught dead in, but you can just throw in the Gaussian blur effect, increase the amount and uncheck repeat edge pixels to add your pop of color. And if you want text to revolve around an object, just create a mask on that title and set the path options to the mask. And to finish off, the final tip is just to let your creativity fly with your different lined objects and animate them however you see fit. Now for the second style, which is my favorite, is visual 3D motion graphics. By using simple shapes, you can easily create powerful 3D eye candy. And if you can't get a date to be your eye candy, motion graphics will never let you down. Anyway, we can start by creating a long rectangle or any shape that you like, for example. Uh, make your layer 3D and be sure to use the advanced 3D renderer. And you can increase the extrusion depth, but for this specific example, we want to use the same value as the rectangle's X size, and that's 600 in this case. We can then style this by setting the specular intensity and shininess to 100%. And then from here, I would suggest creating a camera and then you can use the camera tools to angle down on our scene. And if you're following along, feel free to duplicate your master shape, change its size, and then animate the position to bounce back and forth on top of your main shape. Then I would go ahead and create an environment light to cast some shadows and to animate around this. I would set the Z anchor point of your layers to half of the amount of the extrusion depth, which is 300, and then keyframe the rotation of both these layers to spin around our objects. Of course, 3D is a big topic, so be sure to watch my recent tutorial on it. And to help you master your style, you can animate entire projects with just a few clicks with our Animator Pro Pack. Just select your layers, apply a preset, and watch your animations come to life in no time. Be sure to get my 200 free templates and save time by checking out our transitions and all the awesome templates that we have in the description below. Alrighty, getting back into this is the colorful neomorphic style, which is all about subtly separating graphics of the same color with a gradient. For example, let's start with a light gray background and then create any object with the shape tools that is slightly brighter. And then when done, you can go ahead and duplicate that shape. Now for the top layer, apply the drop shadow effect change the color to white, the opacity to 100%, the distance to 10, and the softness to around 25. Now, for the bottom layer, apply the four color gradient and set your colors and points however you need. Then apply the Gaussian blur effect and blur this like crazy. Lastly, apply the radial wipe transition effect and then adjust the transition percent and the feather and you can also increase the scale of the bottom circle so you can see your gradient a little better. Then you may want to keyframe the angle of the transition and you also want to keyframe the drop shadows direction to animate your colorful neomorphic design. Perhaps the most important style to understand is creating animated videos with vectors and hopefully with love. There's not much of a challenge to this style other than getting the graphics, which you can generally get for free when you search for free vectors and throw in the keywords that you're looking for. To work with this, all you need to do is open the .ai or .eps file in Adobe Illustrator. And all that needs to happen here is that you must place objects that you wish to animate into their own layers. And then when you're done, save your project as an Illustrator file. Then in After Effects, import that Illustrator document as a composition. And from here, you can easily move the anchor points with the pan behind tool and animate those selected layers as you need to create 
meaningful animated videos. All right, here at the end, our last style is gradients. And specifically, we're going to push this to something crazy as you can beautifully create a whole host of ideas with the style ranging from, hey, that looks great, to what are you tripping on? <laughs> For example, on a circle or any shape that you may have, set it to a gradient fill. Down here, you can set the type to radial, uh, but be sure to adjust the endpoint and the highlight settings to utilize the entire gradient. And when you're ready, you can go ahead and edit the gradient and throw in a bunch of different colors. Uh, but when you're done, go to Blur and Sharpen and apply the CC Radial Fast Blur effect. Set the center to a side of your graphic and then increase the amount. And then feel free to plop down the glow effect. I would set the threshold to 100 and the radius to nearly 1000, but you know, your settings may vary. Finally, when you're happy with this, create an adjustment layer and try using the noise effect and the posterize effect. For me, I like to set both these to around 12 or so. And for a pro tip, you should also try the colorama effect to quickly change the colors of your gradient. There's so many different ways to create gradients and everything that we've done in this video. So you can watch the expanded tutorials in the description below. Be sure to subscribe to be the best and always be creating.